Hello, I'm Jerry Rigged, and this is the Duskers Daily Challenge for January 16th, 2018. Looking at yesterday's leaderboard, a total of 23 players, and Knox Skitney took away the top score with a 755. And I'm told from... I guess it must have been Knox. I think uh, Mystica had a different comment uh, that there was six scrap with the ship scan, so that's where they got that. Quietus 1-1 ended up with 655, which suggests maybe drone health, while... Quite a few other people ended up with a 635. John, Mustika21, Moloch, Geese, Scott Bennett, Dano416, LB, and Marvin ended up in the top 10. I ended up 15th, Copper was 13th, and Decavoid 20th with a six or with a 330. So he had a bad day somewhere in there yesterday. I'm playing early again today, trying to get back in the habit of that so I can get to bed early and get up early and do things. We'll see. Today we have Stealth, fantastic, with Ship Surveyor and Transporter, which is going to make things at least a little bit interesting. We have Unknown Infestations on Military A, so there's a good chance of ship defenses, at least in my experience. Could be wrong. And I guess that's it. Let's go ahead and swap. There's a... Swarm uh, vent in here. Okay, that's good and bad. It's a firm install there. Alright, and that powered, I think, 7, 8, 9, and 5. No, I have still. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Okay. We got plenty of time. Time is on my side. Have a sentry there, and I'm gonna have to remember I have that in R2. Time is still all right. Shield and turret, though, not in good condition. Nope, time to go. So if it comes down to it, turret is my best bet. It's a potential 25 point loss, but there's other advantages. Um, how can this be laid out? No, I, I got it, I got it. Let me check this room real quick. I spent way too much time thinking about that. Deactivated the defenses. I'm paranoid. Three scrap, but that may or may not have been from... Getting that into the right position is going to be a pain in the ass. Alright, um... I mean, I have a way to do it, but... Damn, that's going to be difficult. Alright, let's get out of here. I believe I can check R7 now. 
Unfortunately, from there, I have to deal with that sentry first. I didn't hear a swarm, but I might not have heard anything from R8 if there was. Other things can still go wrong as well. Oh, good. I can get through R7 as well. Let's, um... Close D5. Which one's just in D11? Yes. There's a leaper. That is not good. No scrap in here, though. <sighs> Alright, if there's no swarm in R8, I can certainly check R9 for anything else. Though, I'm probably about to be stuck on the door. Okay, R9 is clear. I know that for sure. Okay, so I know there's no swarm today. I know there's no slime today because I've checked all the rooms. So, I'm just going to have to deal with the slime timer. Um, I don't think there's any slime today. There's nothing in R9, so I'm fairly confident. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the sentry come through into here. That took a lot longer than I thought it would. Ah, uh, damn. No defenses today. Uh, the good news is there's a transporter in R5, but I don't think that'll really help much. Um... No defense turrets found. There's only the one in R4. Um, so this puts me in a lot of bad positions here, really. What I think I need to do is put that sentry, or put the leaper in R2. Okay. So now I can open D8. Wait for the sentry to come through. Now that's primed.
damn, I just lost the transporter room where I need it. Oh, but I have the transport in R2, which means I need to leave when R2 is active. That's not good. Um... Actually, let's leave one in here. This will probably be a safer bet, actually. So what do I want to do with this? I want... Dr. A2. This is going to be crazy stupid for a number of reasons. I lost room two. Fantastic. Craziest thing I've ever did, and I might have gotten six scrap from it. Now, I'm not done yet, because I do want... I've got two signals remaining. If R2 will activate again, then I can get that upgrade, which will give me another good outcome. Um, I also have that send uh, the leaper. I'm not going to be able to deal with it, but... Put it in there. I don't think you were going the wrong way, buddy. Fix your screen. <sighs> is there any way I can actually deal with this leaper? I don't think there is, just because of the positioning of that. Like, it would be way too dangerous to try to move into... R5 with the Leaper moving back and forth between R4, even with stealth. It just would not be worth the risk. Okay. 
but I would like to check out I would like to check out that the terminal in R8. I never did since I'm waiting on that last transport signal. Lost the transport in room 9. Defense, which I don't even know why I tried it. Um, I'm trying to think if I could somehow pull that off. And I really don't think that I could. Not in any kind of a safe manner. <clears throat> Come on, give me that last. I've got one signal left. If it shows up in R2, I've got an upgrade. Quarantine bypass. It's a little bit unusual on a, uh, uh, I guess, I guess military ships. Quarantine bypass makes sense. Wow. What? Damn. R nine again. All right. Let's get out of here. Some people are gonna get lucky and get that upgrade. Some people might even get lucky and get R eight as well. Uh, even destroyed ones get teleported over, and they still have a value. Let's close the doors, too. Except three and four, I guess, because eh, I'm too lazy right now. There's no sentry scrap to pick up. I've picked up all the sentry scrap that I have. I have the shield and turret. Not necessary, but they're on Tim. Um... Yeah. All right. What? Wow. Asteroid collision, three minutes. I'm not going to be here. It's fine. Let's go ahead and leave. 9.45. Someone may. Uh, so I do think that I got three scrap from each sentry, which means the ship had a total of ten, plus a ship scan possible, plus one jump fuel, uh, starting score of 520. I didn't look at that at the beginning. And... One drone with two upgrades, which were already damaged, so not ideal to use, but it's easily possible to get that sentry into the terminal, into the uh, turret room, the defense room. It is also possible somebody is going to end up getting two ship upgrades, potentially pushing into a 1,005 score, uh, depending on drone health and, again, other factors, sentry and so on. Um, so, possible. Uh, Deno416 may have gotten one of the ship upgrades along with uh, looks like five sentry scrap probably. Uh, five scrap plus one upgrade would be 955. I scored 945. LB and 935, so he may have gotten an upgrade as well. ITJ probably got one less sentry scrap than I did. 925. Hi. Come on. Come on up. Mustika 21 and 885 may not have tried to get that other sentry, or may have gotten... He just headbutt my face, sure. Uh, may have gotten less scrap from both of them. Deck avoid, same deal, and machine got an 835. What? You're getting angry because I'm touching you, but you're standing on me. What? And so, if you haven't done your run yet, good luck. If you have, leave a comment with your own experience and strategies for a ship like this. Uh, as always, stealth is my favorite upgrade. It allows a very aggressive exploration, and especially once you know that you're not dealing with slime, which on a ship like this with unknown infestation takes a while, um, you can do a lot of things with it and just, again, aggressively explore a ship without having to worry too much about being caught. Uh, there are some still still some situations where you can get into a bad position, but not too many that you have to... There aren't too many that you have to avoid. You tend to have to put yourself in those situations, for better or for worse. If you'd like to check out other playthroughs, you can see Marvin.
Copper, Deno 416, LB, Noxkitney, Moustika 21, Darguard, Decovoid, and Merkaller, all linked in the video description. If you enjoyed, do please like, and have a good day.